Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. If you're new, I'm Caitlin and I do a bunch of Roblox videos, vlogs, challenges, and art videos. So if you like any of those categories, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. But anyway, let's get on to the video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of these, oopsies, what was that? Oh, that was a stone. Let's put that one. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of these little bats. They look really cute. Um, and I am also going to be showing you guys how to make a jack-o'-lantern. This is the bat. This is how it looks first. It looks really cool and pretty. So, first we're going to need for this is you're going to need a paper, like a square paper. Um, I think, yeah, this is the one. Um, and you're just going to want to fold it like this. Like that. Oopsies. Also, guys, you like my turtle ring? It looks so cute. Great. Right? My mom got it for me. But, um, here is the square. So what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna want to fold it the other way, um, like this. Make it into like a smaller square, if that's what you would call it, yeah. Um, but there's that. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna open it and then you're going to put it, or put it like this, I don't know. Um, make it look like a boat kind of. And don't make it too big, but also don't make it too small. I think I'm gonna do it like that. And then I'm gonna fold it. Um, next, what we do is you have to put this down like that. Oops, it's not gonna stay, but if you bend, if you see the little bending mark, you're going to bend it uh, right there. And there's also gonna be a bending mark right here as well. So you're just gonna bend that to, yeah, like this. Um, and then boom, you have this little thingy. It looks like a bat, but it's not a bat. So what you're going to do next is you're going to fold it up like this as so. And you're gonna do that to the other side. So from this point on, it's like symmetrical where you just do the other thing to I don't know. But you're just gonna do something like this and it's gonna end up looking like this. So if it's not like this, then just like redo the steps if you messed up. But um we're gonna continue on. And next thing you're gonna do, there's a lot of folding, so you guys, if you're not good at folding, I don't know what to tell you guys. But it's a little origami. It's gonna be right here. I'm so sorry if my bracelet is making noise. I am so sorry. I tried to put it in my little sleeve, but doesn't work um and you're just gonna fold it into a smaller fold and so you can see this right here um and you're gonna fold it like that and again you're gonna do the same thing to the other side as well it's not gonna be perfect guys but um these are how mine came out came out pretty good this is how it looks so far kind of look like a bat but what you're gonna do from this point on is you're gonna fold it like this like that and the same thing to the other side once again and boom your bat has wings these are really good for like decorations and stuff like that but what you're gonna do next is you're gonna there's supposed to be like two papers of layers and you're gonna open that one and then you're gonna get your scissors here you're gonna get your scissors and you're going to cut in the middle like that okay so once that's done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue them. You guys can just fold it, but if you want it to actually stick, I think you should do this um, right here. You're just gonna glue that there like that, and you're gonna fold it like so. It's not gonna be perfect, but you know guys, it's good if you're trying at least. Um, so here are like the bat formation or whatever, oops. Okay guys, so next we're gonna use, you're gonna need a pin or a white crown, which does not really get that often, but I have this. I have Crayola construction paper. There's white in here, as you guys can see. Um, let's get out our white. But if you don't have this, you can use like a pin or something. I don't know. Uh, you can use like, I don't know what color you guys wanna use. Oh my God, these are so pretty colors. Oh my God. But they're for construction paper, so they're not like regular. Let me, I don't want to drop them, so I'm gonna like do it so slowly. Where's the white at? I just sold the white. Where did it go? <gasps> it's stuck, it doesn't want to come out. He's like, Leave me alone. Come on, get out. 
there it is. Uh, and I'm gonna droop. pull out. No, one fell out. We died. Our mission failed. <laughs> but we're gonna close it up like that. Oh my god, that one doesn't want to go back in. Okay. So now what we're gonna do next is you're going to like draw a little face. You can draw any face you want. I'm gonna draw the eyes. Um, and I'm gonna do like a uh, like. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. But now we're going to move on to our jack-o'-lantern. Okay, guys. So next I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the jack-o'-lantern. Boom. Let's get started. You're going to want a square. Um, you're going to want to fold it like that. And then you're going to want to do that to the opposite side of the paper. And fold it like so also guys if i'm going too fast you can pause and you're gonna unfold it as well and uh, like this we are going to fold down the middle Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to do the other way too. Like this. I haven't done an origami video in forever. I miss making origamis because I've never used to stop. So I miss making origamis. They're really fun to make. And I just miss making them. That's why I'm making this one today. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do this. Because you can do it an easier way. Um, and you're just going to fold it down like this. Really simple, guys. Really simple. Like I said, if I'm going too fast or you do not understand something that I did, just go back and um, you can just try again. So now that it's supposed to, it should look like this. But um, yeah, it's supposed to look like that. Next, thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to fold this up like this. And you're gonna fold it as well, like that. And you're gonna do it to the same side too. Um, and you're gonna do that to the opposite side as well. I miss making origamis. I like really remember in third grade, me and my friends, we always used to make these and play around with them. It was so fun. Um, but now you're done with that, you're going to fold it in like this. Like that. It, should look like this after you're done with both of the sides you should look something like some more thing like that but i am going to do this again as well that looks good so we're going to do this to this side as well again because we have to do it to the opposite side and the other side again so now that it's like this there are some extra like papers here so what you want to do is you want to fold it down like that and then you're going to want to open this little pouch here there should be one if there's not um you didn't do it right but we're going to fold it in like so if you want to use like a pencil or something to help you you should because i mean it's pretty easy but uh, like it's i mean this is pretty easy and most of all it's pretty easy simple but um, like I said, don't need to go back because I don't want you guys to be, I don't want it like not to work for you guys because it should work. And boom, it's in. It doesn't look that much perfect, but we will fix that. Trust me. I would, yeah, I'm going to fix that because I totally don't like the way it looks. But we're going to do that again. We're going to fold it. Oh my God, it sounds like it ripped. Do you guys hear that? I got so scared. I was like, oh, I got so scared. And then you're going to fold it down like this. Boom. And then you're going to fold it down like this. And you're going to open the pouch. And push it in like so. And then... Boom. You can do that to the same side as well opposite side i mean Ugh, i'm not a talk 
and then I'll see you guys when I'm done with those. Okay guys, so I just completed it. Oh my god, why did it look like that? Holy cow. But now you're gonna fold it or open it on the other side and do the same. We're gonna do like that. And you're going to draw your pumpkin face. I am gonna use should I use pen or marker? I think I'm gonna use marker because I feel like that is more of what is stays on the most. Let me look through it. Where is my black marker? Come on, black marker. Where is that? Do I have a black marker? Yes, I do it in the back. I see it. I see it. Come on. Oh, oh my god, it's yellow. <gasps> I saw a black. I just... Boom. I just didn't like I was all the way in the back. So I'm not cool. Now I have to pick up all this mess. Okay. Let's give up the yellow. Okay, we're gonna put that there for now. And we are going to draw our jack lantern. I'm super excited about this. I haven't made one forever, like I said. Okay guys, so this is how my skeleton turned out. It turned out pretty well, didn't it? But anyway, we're gonna move on from that. There should be a hole at the bottom of where it should be like, like, like this kind of. You can blow it and it'll turn into like a little big balloon. It's gonna look like it's gonna turn into a balloon, but it's not gonna turn into a balloon, it's gonna turn into a jack o -lantern. So you can do that with a straw. I don't have a straw right now, but I'll go get one. I'll be right back in a couple of seconds. Okay guys, so I blew it up. Here's how it looks. So obviously it's not perfect. So I'm gonna kind of straighten it out with my finger. It should look like this though. If it doesn't, I'll tell this person to go help you. <laughs> okay, that's pretty creepy. I'm not gonna do that no more. Um, but it should look like this. I'm going to clean up the edges by putting a little um, finger here. Um, and boom, this is a jack lantern. You can like stick some paper or you can like stab. Oh my God, I thought it was gonna fall. Whoops, thank God I didn't. But this is how it looks. Um, that is it for the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it's almost Halloween guys. And also comment down your favorite holiday in the comment section down below. Um, I really wanna know mine's Christmas and then Halloween. Then I probably say it's Easter, but yeah, these are the two things that I made today. I hope you guys enjoyed them. I enjoyed making them and recording them for you guys. This was super duper fun. I haven't done this in a long time. So if you guys actually like like my origamis that I do like this, please tell me so I know what to, how to do more. And also, guys, if you made it this far, congratulations! You are a true fan. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.